Welcome and thank you for joining us for this edition of Momentum. I'm your host, Dr. James Warnock, and my first guest today is Dr. Davy Belk, who is Professor and Head of the Department of Aerospace Engineering. Davy, it's, uh, it's great to have you with me here today. Well, it's great to be here, James. And uh, you're, you're relatively new to the, the Bulldog family. This is your second semester here on, on campus um, with the Department of Aerospace Engineering. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me, what, what was life like before Mississippi State and how, how did you end up here? Well, it, I, I traveled uh, quite a long road before I, I finally got here, but one of my stops along the way was at Mississippi State. Uh, about 30, going on 31 years ago now, I, I was uh, here at Mississippi State getting my PhD. And uh, the aerospace department uh, was uh, the best place, as far as I was concerned, in the world to come study computational fluid dynamics. And uh, that, that brought me here then. Uh, it was the Air Force that sent me, though. And I, I really worked for the Air Force uh, when I was here. I worked for the Air Force uh, since 1978 and all the way up to 2014. And uh, that was uh, my life then. Started out as a researcher. Um, well, not really a researcher. I got to back up a little bit on that. I started out uh, trying to actually make sure when you put a, a perfectly good uh, weapon on a perfectly good plane that had never been together that you didn't shoot yourself down with your weapon, uh, that they would be compatible, that you could fly those things out and uh, uh, be able to um, understand that the loads from high-speed flight with something hanging under a wing wouldn't rip the wing off, uh, that uh, you could uh, drop it and it would fall away instead of fly back up and, and hit the tail. Uh, Actually, I used to go around the country showing what we called the horror film, which was just everyday flight test in the life of people trying to do those sort of things before we had the sort of tools that we developed when I was here at Mississippi State. I mean, that, that's, that sounds like some pretty interesting work to have been involved with. And it, it sounds like you had a connection with Mississippi State as a, a graduate student before coming back. So what was it that really drew you to come back to the department? What were the things that you saw here that really made you think, this is where I want to be? It uh, is the place where I have been immersed in, in a research environment and working uh, in the, the excitement of, of uh, pushing ahead uh, in, into new areas and doing things that are brand new. But we did some of that, a lot of that, actually, uh, in my job in the Air Force and research laboratory and things like that. What, what really brought me back to this environment is the chance to work with young people and to be able to pass that on to a next generation uh, of, uh, you know, both our undergraduate and graduate students. And uh, it's, it's tremendously fulfilling and exciting to see their excitement and to be able to work with them and go forward. And so. Uh, I had retired from the Air Force, and uh, some of the folks uh, from way back when still remembered me when we had a, an opening for a department head here, and they convinced me to go ahead and, and uh, throw my name in the hat, so to speak, and uh, I'm just so happy and privileged to be here. Now, you, you mentioned coming back and working with the students, working with young people. The department has probably two of the most prolific student design teams in the college. We have the Space Cowboys and we have Team Zipita. Um, can you tell me a little bit about those two teams? Yes, uh, they're, they're an inspiration uh, for me and for a lot of uh, kids around the country who, who go look at the websites or see the sort of accomplishments that they're, they're making. Uh, our, our Space Cowboys, our rocketry team, uh, they have uh, been involved in, in rocketry for quite a few years. I, I can't really name how many, but uh, they've uh, w won first place in an international competition in um, the last competition they, they were in. I believe that was the, the uh, 2015. They, after that, decided that uh, they would take a little bit off from competition and set their own goal, which was very exciting. Um, uh, they haven't gotten there yet, it's a real challenge, but they want to design, build, and fly a rocket that will go faster than four times the speed of sound. 
Mm -hmm. that, that's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> it, it really is. If, if, if they can do it, that uh, at least as far as we know, that will be the fastest rocket ever flown by a university team. Yeah. Well, that, that's great. Really exciting news. I look forward to hearing more about their accomplishments. It's been great having you here with me today. We're going to take a, a quick break, and when we come back, we'll be with Dr. Dave Dampier.